sound, rock and roll. And there's more of it to come. Oh, these these hey, things hey, don't handle hang on very a second, well. Guys, pals, I've just been handed an important urgent. There we go. It's something a rich high school kid would have. All right, let's go to bed. Finally, a proper mattress. Unless that's how they did it back then, I don't know. Hello? Yeah, uh, is this a uh, veto? Who's asking? Name's Leon. I'm the bartender at the Lone Star. I'm ringing you because Joe Barbaro gave me your number. Says he's a friend of yours. Yeah. What about him? Well, old Joe been guzzling my top shelf hooch all night long, dribbling on about some cat named Marty, and now he done just gone playing salty on me. What the hell are you talking about? Your friend is out of control, man. He all waving his gun around and shit, and we can't talk no sense to him. <sighs> Great. Now look, I ain't looking for no trouble with you fellas. Could you please come pick his drunk ass up before he shoots somebody or somebody calls the police? Vito, you got to come on down here and pick his ass up. You coming or not? All right, I'll be right there. And hey, don't give him any more booze till I get there. I'm a try, but your friend, he ain't gonna be down with that. You dig? Hey, if you don't cut him off right now, I'm gonna cut you off when I get there. Got it? All right, man, all right. Just hurry. All right, how many people are in the bar right now? Just me now. Joint was jumping about an hour ago. But now everybody done gone and split. All right, listen. Lock the place up till I get there. I'll be there in a minute. Okay, gotcha. All right, let's do it. Joe's being an idiot. Oh, whoops. I think this is the time for this. We're just going to the bar. Maneuver the crowds, man. Like, especially with this this lackluster handling. That was close. Oh, I missed it. This place was bumping. Oh, Vito, you All here? Right. Where is he? Over in the corner there. Now look, I tried to cut him off, but the motherfucker was gonna air my ass out if I did. Okay, lock that door. And just give me a minute with him. Had a couple, huh? How you feeling? Vito, about time you showed up. Everybody went home already. Gee, Joe. I wonder why. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right. You drive here? Nah, I took a cab. I wouldn't park my car in this neighborhood. All right. Finish your drink and let's go. You fellas about Nobody. to leave? I'll let you out. Here's to you, kid. You went out like a man. Shit. Now, where'd I put my keys? I'm so <clears> sorry, <throat> kid. This never should have happened. Never should I. Oh, Jesus! Ah, shit. Oh, my God. You I gotta be kidding me. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was just. You were just what? Shut your fucking mouth and get your drunk ass outside. All right, all right. I'm going. 
What about the bartender? Don't even bother checking to see if he's okay. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Well, he's dead according to the pool of blood. What an idiot. Terrible man, he's just doing his job. Yeah, that's not dramatic at all. Oh no. Why? Why do they want to arrest me? What did I do? Did I even fucking do anything? It's bullshit. Like seriously, I, did I nudge him or something? I'm not gonna be able to lose him in this. All right, time to get this baby up to top speed. If it can. God, it's slow. I can barely get up to 60. Getting to 80. Whoops! That was my fault. Roger that. Wow, that worked out nicely. <laughs> I was kind of doing 80 miles an hour in the city. Oh, play nice, play nice. Cop right in front. Sorry, I was just taking a drink. Fuck it, full speed. This thing doesn't have very much full speed. But I'm still doing 20 over. Whoop! A daisy. All right, we're here. Try not to shoot anybody on the way to the front door, huh? Thanks, Vito. And hey, I'm sorry about. Look, just call me tomorrow, okay? God. No one gives a shit about this guy's life. That's terrible. I feel bad. There's a cop behind me. I gotta do the speed limit. And I just got up to the speed limit. This thing is so slow. What is what it is? Not everyone can afford a sports car. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. What are you doing? Oh my god. So you make it more... You just run into the people. We're trying to go... Like, what the hell?
Or the junkyard. That really did happen. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. <clears throat> Sorry man, you seemed like a nice guy, but this is the way it has to be. Four hundred twenty-one bucks. What happened to my cut of the profits from that? You know, like I thought I'd get something better than that. Okay, I gotta get out of here. Was there a car there for me to take? I didn't see it. Oh, there's a truck here. I guess I could take the truck. Ah, and it's not even locked. I think the Schubert is like a Chevrolet. It really looks like one. Chevrolet GMC. Sorry. I wonder if you can take a cab. This thing can't even get up to four. There, it's at 40 now. That's the speed limit. I mean, I know we're going uphill. Sorry, I'm new on the job. I think he bought it. Oh shit. Oh! That was very close. It's funny, I turned the limiter off, it barely makes a difference. I'm just destroying public property left, right, and center. Not a good idea. Oh man, the transportation can be annoying. But I'm here. I don't want to save this vehicle. Oh, does there, do you have a problem with that? I do what I want, man. Uh, my name is Vito. What's his, I still don't remember his last name. Scaletti? Sounds about right. I think that's finally the end of the chapter. It was a long one. That brings us to 11. Who the hell is that? Should I put some clothes on, maybe? No, I should probably just answer the door. No one cares. Oh, I actually have to. When did I get this? Yeah, this one's blue. Hey, Vito. Long time no see. Sure. Long time. What do you want, Henry? A drink. Let's take my car. And he's gonna let me drive. 
right? He doesn't care. No one cares. Well, I guess you know Clemente's dead, along with everybody else. Listen, Vito, I know Falcon had something to do with this. And I'm worried that he's going to want to take out what's left of the family. And I should care about this. Why? Well, yeah, look. How you going away? I'm sorry for what Clemente did to you. But he got what was coming to him, right? I don't give a rat's ass about that old bastard. Matter of fact, I work for Falcon just the same. You saying you want to join up with us? Yeah, and since you work for him, I thought, uh, maybe... You think you could put in a good word for me? Yeah, sure. Me and Joe can vouch for you. Thanks, Vito. I owe you one. Whoa! <laughs> and I kill Henry right as after I'm like, yo. How's life? Oh, you mean yeah. before or after half the guys I know got killed? That business at the hotel. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Got no idea what you're talking about. That's funny, because a buddy of Joe's got popped in the parking lot that day. So I just figured you'd two in on it. Buddy of Joe's? Who are you talking about? You know, that fucking kid used to come into Freddy's with Joe all the time. What's his name, uh, Mikey, uh, Mickey, whatever the fuck his name was. You mean Marty? Yeah, yeah, that's the kid. Get a voice like fucking Minnie Mouse. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. So you sure you weren't there that day? You're positive. Let's put it this way. Me and Joe were out taking care of something for our boss that day. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what? It don't matter anyway. But do me a favor, would you? Yeah, sure. Next time, get a better disguise than a phony fucking mustache. I saw you two pricks from a mile away. Ah. Hey, Wyatt, can we please not talk about this right now? Forever again? Don't worry about it. You did what you had to do. <laughs> I was gonna say, no one's gonna not notice you. Line of work? To be honest with you, not really. This is what I am. What I'm good at. Oh, shit. Yeah. Man, I guess it pays a hell of a lot better than being a fucking taxi driver. I was thinking about skipping town after that business at the hotel. But where am I gonna go? What am I gonna do? That's why I came to see you. So I was your last resort, huh? Thanks. Hey, not for nothing. How come you came to see me and not Joe? Look, uh, Joe's solid. But I wouldn't exactly want him speaking on my behalf. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And I'll do what you did. My bad. You trying to kill us or what? Yes. Jeez. Relax, will you? I don't care. It's not my car. It's yours. <laughs> you could have driven. I'm not your chauffeur, so I fuck up your car. That's how it works. It's just that simple. Hey. Hey, Vito. You got that money for me? Always keep my word, don't I? Here you go. Don't spend it all in one place. Thanks. Where's Joe? Uh, he was here before, but then he left. Looked pissed off. Though lately, he always looks pissed off. Yeah, can you blame him? Listen, uh, I need to talk to you about something. Well, what, is it important? I'm busy with Vinci right now. He's planning to make a move on us, and we don't know how or why. I, I, I gotta sort this shit out. Yeah, well, I think it's worth hearing me out. All right, go ahead, but make it quick. All right. A guy I know who worked for Clemente called me. He's worried. He's not sure if we'll be going after the rest of Clemente's guys or not. Oh, that's good. As far as I know, the boss ain't planning nothing at this point, unless they try something stupid. Okay, well, this guy also asked me if he could come work for us. Yeah? Who is it? What, is he a friend of yours? I did a few jobs with him for Clemente. Really knows his shit. <sighs> okay, tell him to stop by. <laughs> well, uh, he's here right now. <laughs> uh, he is? <laughs> All right. Go get him, then. Eddie, this is Henry Tomasino. Henry, this is Eddie Scarpa. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Scarpa. Don't call me Mr. Scarpa. My friends call me Eddie. And take a seat, Henry. So... Vito tells me you want to join up with us. Yeah, I'm out of work right now. And I don't want to make a big deal out of what happened. Now that's good thinking. Tell me something first, Henry. Were Clemente and Vinci planning anything against our organization? <sighs> okay. I usually keep my nose out of things like that. But I was with Luca Garino once at Leo Galanti's place, and Luca was going on and on about Falcone being involved in some dirty business and that something should be done about it. I think he was trying to turn Vinci against you. That bastard. I'll bet he was talking about drugs all the while he's dealing them himself. He knows that Vinci is totally against us. Yeah, probably fooled the old man good. So that's why he's planning to move on us. Now we gotta hit him first. Again? Hey, if we don't act, Frank will. 
first we gotta get rid of Galante. Without him, Frank's fucked. Leo? I wanted to keep you out of it, but I didn't have anybody else who could pull off a job like this. Now I'm thinking this could be the perfect opportunity for Henry here to prove himself. What do you say, Henry? You up for it? If it means I'm in when the job's done, sure. Exactly. Take care of Leo. And what about you, Vito? I'd feel a lot better if you went with Henry to make sure everything goes smooth. And I don't mean you gotta whack the guy. Just drive there, wait until it's done, and drive back. But if it don't feel right, I can ask somebody else instead. What do you say? Sorry, Eddie, I can't do this. Leo was like a father to me back in the can. Yeah, I understand. Well, it looks like you gotta take care of this yourself, Henry. You can hire some help if you want, but you gotta do this so nobody suspects it was us. Leo lives in Highbrook. Got it. Don't worry. It'll be done today. Okay. You better get going in. See you later, Eddie. It's wow. a good thing you brought him here. Even if he screws up, nobody will know it was us. I don't think Henry's gonna screw it up. That's good. Well, Vito, I got nothing else for you today, but uh, drop by tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I'll see you later, Eddie. See you. Wow, he actually... Is gonna hit Leo. Three grand. I feel like oh, I gotta warn him. Thanks, man. Shit, the car. Come on, come on, come on. Go, go, go. I don't have much time left. Where is it? Let's find out. Holy shit. It's actually quite far. I gotta book it. But I can't have the cops on me. Well, so much for that. Like, how's this gonna look, though? Oh, like, we can pre pretend that he's alive. Or pretend that he's dead, maybe? I don't know. Holy shit, this thing can get up there. Oh shit, missed my turn. Come on! Out of the way! Shit, I got a cop on the other side. Again, in front of a cop. Oh my god. That was me trying to be a hot shot. That's what that was. It's easy to lose cops in this. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to run out of time. No! Go! I'm not making it. I fucked up. Fuck. God damn it. Probably because I missed my turn. I really gotta hurry, man. Like, they're not even kidding. I should've just smashed the car. I don't have time to pick it. Go, go, go. Always a pleasure, Mr. Scully. Go, go, go. Yeah, that's way faster. 
Oh! Almost hit the cop. I have no time for safe driving. I just go, oh, shit. Cops aren't gonna like this. Oh, it changed. Perfect. Like, this is gonna be close. Top speed. Come on, Houston Wasp. Let's get this bitch going. Come on. Rev up your cylinders. Oh, shit. Cop didn't see that I was speeding. It's okay. I had to stop up here anyway. You're the one who ran into the street, you bonehead. I nicked him. He's okay, though. I think if you run someone over, a cop car spawns. Okay, I've, I've got a way more... I think i got way more time going on this time. Come on. Shit. Oh, my God. Itchy head. I cannot deal with that. There we go. Dude, they don't give you... Go! They don't give you any time at all. Go, 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 go. We got to hurry up. I'm going to fail it again. It's up. I have a little more time, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Go! We're almost there. 